my viewers and welcome back to my channel subscribe like and share your thoughts on what you think about this video in recent days discussions have been ignited by a revelation made by russian president vladimir putin asserting that jesus christ was black now this discovery based on historical and archaeological evidence has sparked controversy and stirred emotions among many particularly within palm color communities now today we take a look into the reactions and responses of palm color individuals to this revelation exploring the underlying dynamics of race religion and identity that have been brought to the forefront it's like this news has not sat well with most palm color people so join me as we examine the implications of putin's assertion and the broader conversations it has sparked about representation history and cultural heritage let's take a look at these videos man i know y'all mad as hell Y'all been Christians y'all whole life, and not one time did y'all ever sit back and think that y'all was worshiping a black man. Y'all been worshiping the greatest man to ever exist, and come to find out, he is black. And the only way you find this hard to believe is because you really... And you more concerned with believing a lie than the actual truth. All the prominent figures that you grew up learning about that did all these great things that you seen in church from Moses to King David to Solomon, all of them, all the disciples, all of them are black. And that's why John 8 and 32 said, you shall know the truth and it shall make you free. A lot of y'all enslaved into a lie and y'all comfortable with it. Shalom. You have to be an exemplary type of stupid to believe that Jesus of Nazareth, Christ the King, was a black African Nubian man, a sub-Saharan African man. Let's go back to 10,000 BCE, Anatolian farmer DNA. Here's the modern distribution, but Anatolian farmer DNA is coming from Anatolia here, but it was also in the Levant. If you're completely lacking any anthropological evidence or genetic research, and you just go on dogma from the internet, then sure, you could claim that anybody at all times was black. All of these white people in history were black. Arab people and Persian people were black. The Neo-Assyrians were black. The Hittites were black, but they weren't. Nazarene was Galilean and spoke Aramaic. Here's a person who speaks Aramaic. Does this person look sub-Saharan African to you? This is Thutmose III, the ruler of Egypt who helped conquer the Levant. His lineage, including the Amenhoteps and then Akhenaten, do not look sub-Saharan African. They are not related to the Western Africans who make up most of America's African-American population. The Egyptian people are related to the people who ruled Egypt. There are also some European rulers, but that's not here nor there. All those icons that Putin is revealing would be more accurate if they were all portraying Romans. It would be more likely that Christ would see a bunch of Romans in his lifetime than he would see a bunch of West African people that look like modern African Americans. It wouldn't make sense seeing as the Levant was consistently populated by European people and people who resembled like Egyptian and Middle Eastern people. Well, well, well. You know, there's a lot of Arabic people and Palestinian people, a lot of people over there with blue eyes and reddish brown hair. I don't, I don't know where they got it from over there in the Middle East. I'm sure it was some kind of gene, just like being black and just like being white. It has to do with your genes, the color of your eyes. I'm sure we could find out. But Putin and dusting off his black Jesus from the Kremlin attic. That is one heck of a thing. Why are we just finding out? Did I think Jesus was blonde and blue eyed? I didn't really care. I do care about my wig though. My hair's looking oh, it's time for a do. But anyway, get back. Mr. Putin. You drew the race card. Now what you going to do with it? You got all these black people excited that you have a picture of a black Jesus. You're saying black. To me, sir, it just looks like a dark Jesus. Because I don't know what kind of paint or colors or whatever they had over there. But they had to have something for black. Was it coal? What was it? Anyway. Mr. Putin, you're sneaky. You're going to nuke us, aren't you? 
You're just doing something to hurt the whole world before you nuke us all. I don't know. Does it matter what color Jesus is? Is this going to change what what he does for us after we've been worshiping him? I don't worship a picture, never have. I'm not Catholic. Mr. Putin, what do you think you're doing to Joe? Hurting his feelings? No, I did not vote for Joe. Anyway, black people, I'm happy for you. Something ought to make you happy. I mean, come on now. Because y'all been really upset for years, huh? I hope, I hope this helps you, just like when I voted for Obama because I was hoping he would be a great president for the blacks so they could stop being so racist against white people because they think the white people invented slavery when actually it was the black. Anyway, I don't want to go there. But Mr. Putin, you drew out that race card and I want to know why. That the truth is finally out, but knowing Russians and... Vladimir Putin, I can see that there's he's going to gain a political upper hand in this because they're creating new currency with, I think it's South Africa. So it's not just that. It's not a religious. There is a gain, a huge monetary financial gain in his statement. But Nevertheless, I am very happy that the truth, even under this kind of a sauce, so to speak, it's coming out and we all are here to celebrate it. So when I was taking Russian in college, my professor was from a family who had been evicted from Russia because they were basically tied in with the czar at the time. And so they were living in the United States. And he told me about the politics that they shared. He made two interesting predictions to me back in the early 80s. The first prediction was that software engineers would be the new aristocracy in the country. The second prediction he made was that at some point, the United States would be more like Russia and Russia would be more like the United States. And that in this country, we would have a racial civil war. Now, with this announcement, timed the way it is, while I think it's great, and I think it's cool what, what Putin is doing because, you know, hey, being inclusive is awesome. But it also makes me wonder if this guy knew something that I none of us really know. You assume he has no benefit of saying this. There's way more going on than you and I know. I know that all of the religions and all of the governments of the world are one. But not a good unity. An evil unity like we saw with COVID, March of 2020. This coming from a guy who has been known to persecute, quote-unquote, Christians in his country. I don't trust him. And currently, I don't speak Russian. Now, the recent revelation by Russian President Vladimir Putin asserting that Jesus Christ was black has steered considerable controversy, particularly within palm color communities. While one might assume that the discovery of historical and archaeological evidence supporting a black Jesus would be welcomed as an important step towards a more inclusive understanding of history and representation, the reality has been quite different. Now, the reactions of many palm color individuals to this revelation highlight the discomfort and resistance that can arise when long-held beliefs and narratives are challenged. For centuries, the image of a palm color Jesus has been deeply ingrained in Western culture and religious iconography, serving as a symbol of power, authority, and divine legitimacy. Now, the suggestion that Jesus may have been black disrupts this deeply entrenched worldview, forcing individuals to confront uncomfortable truths about historical accuracy and racial representation. Could it be that palm color people are scared of losing power or not?
I mean, the backlash against Putin's assertion underscores broader issues of racialized power dynamics and privilege. WS has historically sought to maintain control over narratives of history and identity, perpetuating myths of racial superiority and justifying systems of oppression. The idea of a black Jesus challenges these power structures, challenging notions of racial hierarchy and calling into question the legitimacy of palm color cultural hegemony. At its core, the resistance to accepting a black Jesus reflects a fear of losing cultural dominance and privilege. By clinging to outdated and exclusionary narratives, some palm color individuals seek to preserve their sense of superiority and entitlement even in the face of overwhelming evidence to the contrary. However, it's important to recognize that discomfort and resistance are natural responses to challenging deeply ingrained beliefs and worldviews. Rather than dismissing or condemning these reactions, it's important to engage in constructive dialogue and education, encouraging critical thinking and empathy. Now, the revelation of a black Jesus offers an opportunity for reflection and growth, challenging people to confront biases, expand understanding of history and work towards a more inclusive and equitable society. It is a reminder that facts and evidence should always, always take precedence over entrenched beliefs and that true progress requires us to confront uncomfortable truths with courage and humility. Now, I feel one factor contributing to this reaction is the deep-seated association between palm-coloredness and divinity that has been ingrained in Western societies for centuries. The image of a palm-colored Jesus has been used to reinforce notions of WS and divine sanction for colonialism, imperialism, and other forms of oppression. Now, challenging this portrayal threatens to undermine the perceived legitimacy of palm color authority and power structures, leading to feelings of insecurity and defensiveness among some palm color individuals. Moreover, the revelation of a black Jesus challenges the Eurocentric worldview that has long dominated Western academia, art and religious discourse. For centuries, scholars and theologians have perpetuated the myth of a palm color Jesus, often erasing or downplaying the contributions of people of color and black people to history and culture. The acknowledgement of Jesus's blackness disrupts this narrative, highlighting the diversity and complexity of human experience and challenging the, the privileging of Eurocentric perspectives. The resistance to accepting a black Jesus reflects broader societal attitudes towards race and representation. In a world where palm color culture norms and standards are often upheld as the default, the idea of a black Jesus can be perceived as a threat to the status quo. Now, it forces individuals to confront uncomfortable truths about systemic artism, palm color privilege, and the marginalization of black people and people of color, historical and contemporary texts. The backlash against Putin's assertion may also be fueled by political and ideological motivations. In an era marked by increasing polarization and identity politics, discussions about race and religion are often organized for partisan gain. Some individuals may view the relevance of a black Jesus as a challenge to their political or religious identity, leading them to react defensively or dismissively. Now, the discomfort and resistance exhibited by some palm color individuals in response to the revelation of a black Jesus reflect deep-seated anxieties and insecurities about race, power, and identity. But hey, facts are facts and black people have been saying this for the longest time. I'm just wondering what is going to happen if more information keeps coming out to the public. But what do my viewers have to say about this? Share your comments in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.